guy at the metal detector had already walked over this. I just happened to be the heaviest dude that walked over this thing. And so we were standing at like this intersection or right before this intersection. And that's when it actually went off. Um, so I saw the brown out uh, of all the dirt coming up, felt the sonic blast, uh, like that whoosh of air. And then the next thing I knew I was on the ground looking up through the trees. I'm Major Bill Longwell. I'm with uh, 4th Battalion, 3rd U.S. Infantry Regiment, the Old Guard. I was injured on 23 June 2011, so about 10 years ago. I was in Panjway, Afghanistan with 321 of the 1st Brigade 25th Infantry Division. We were on a dif dismounted patrol and a pressure plate improvised explosive device detonated underneath my right foot, uh, broke my heel bone in half and I spent the next 22 months at Walter Reed rehabilitating and undergoing surgeries. Then was given a, uh, what's called the IDEO device, the Intrepid Dynamic Exoskeletal Orthosis. And with that, I've been able to return to full duty, did my company command time uh, with an airborne unit, no issues jumping. And now I'm here at the Old Guard doing ceremonies and uh, outreach. When I received my Purple Heart, I was still in Kandahar Airfield, uh, very highly medicated at the time, and received it from the 10th Mountain Commanding General who was in charge of the area of operations we were in. Uh, I do have a picture of me in a kind of bedazzled shirt that said baller, and then I had a multicolored polka dot blanket uh, covering my legs, and it's just a funny picture while uh, kind of severely injured at the time and getting a, a medal from some general that I never saw before or afterwards. My platoon was still overseas and there was literally nothing I could do at the time to help them or do the missions that we had trained for for so long. And I'm back stateside, just kept pushing and trying to stay fit and figuring out how I could get back uh, back into the fight. Now, I, I honestly don't think I, I think about it very often. The most I probably think about it is when my family reminds me whenever I get close to what we call a live day. It's basically the day you're injured. Even after getting my device, there's a long period of self-doubt. Like, can I still be an infantryman? Should I still be an infantryman? And I've gotten to a place now where, like, I know I can do it, and I've kind of proven myself that I can do it, uh, like going to Jumpmaster and being the distinguished honor graduate of that course and um, successfully completing two commands, uh, coming here, marching the inauguration, now marching other ceremonies. So it's definitely, like I know I can do it now, it just took a while to build that self-confidence back up.